Are you a fan of cartoon characters or wonder what to do with those old shoeboxes? Well, we have the show for you today. It's all right here on Pets on Parade. Good afternoon and welcome to Pets on Parade brought to you by 3TV. My name is Kelsey Dickerson with the Arizona Humane Society. Thank you so much for joining us this week. Now we have some absolutely adorable pets for today's show including little Coda here who's an adorable mix of what? I don't know. We'll tell you in just a few minutes. Before we meet that cutie, let's meet Kane, who has been with the Arizona Humane Society since November of last year. This 80-pound bundle of love can be adopted for just $48 thanks to our partner, State 48. The German Shepherd was brought to AHS through our field and rescue team after his owner was arrested. But this sweetheart is trained, super goofy, and has a pretty laid-back personality and loves love from his favorite humans. You can meet him at our Campus for Compassion location today. And we like to think that all kittens are as sweet as can be, but with a name like this cuties, she's got to be as sweet as sugar. Candy is a beautiful girl hoping to find a forever home. Ski is going to introduce us to that little girl in just a second. But first, let's meet little Eddie Spaghetti here. He's just nine weeks old and was brought to the Arizona Humane Society as a stray by a good Samaritan when he was just a few days, when he was a little bit younger, just a few days before Christmas. He was found underage, but weaned and had a nasty little kitty cold. After being diagnosed by our great second chance vets, he was taken in by Dr. Hero Michelle, who gave him lots of love, medicine, and cuddles. Now he's good as new and can't wait to get into tons of kitten mischief with his future forever family. Eddie is sure to fit right in with any home and it reminds everyone out there to help save lives by adopting, not shopping. Okay, so we were looking at this puppy and trying to figure out exactly what adorable mix this little girl is. Lisa, what do you think Sweet Coda is? Oh, she's very, very soft. I think she's <laughs> probably maybe a poodle cocker spaniel. Look at her tiny little face. Oh she's got God. these little spaniel ears. And uh, she was an owner surrender because at 12 weeks old already, her family had decided that they weren't going to be able to afford a puppy. She started having some GI and tummy issues. And so they brought her to us to see if we could diagnose and figure out what it was. So little Coda here, we did some diagnostics, and with puppies, it's always very important to watch their, you know, we don't want to have potty talk, but you need to watch their stool, and she started to get a little bit of diarrhea. She came down with Giardia, which is just a parasite, simple to uh, take care of. One of our foster heroes luckily decided to take this little bundle of joy in, give her her antibiotics, get rid of any of her GI issues that she's got going on, and now she is happy, healthy, ready for adoption. Just be sure she'll need the rest of her puppy series of shots, so she is gonna be a little bit of an expense, all puppies are, and um, you can bring her into our vaccine clinics, and we can update you on the shots that she has had on the date that she has been adopted. So when you wanna come in and meet her, come down. She's just a tiny little thing, soft as a little fluff ball, and still at that cuddly stage. Oh my gosh, and I give our fosters so much credit for not adopting all these adorable pets so that <laughs> other people can adopt them. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Lisa. And we would love for everyone to join us today at the Churchill in downtown Phoenix for the State 48 and Arizona Humane Society collaboration launch party. This shindig is until 3 p.m. where you can get your very own amazing shirt. Remember, $5 from each shirt purchase goes right back to our homeless pets, and you can also bring your own pups to join in the party, and we'll have some adoptable dogs on site as well if you're looking to add to your family. This great model is Marty, who is also looking for his forever home. And whether you have a, re a resolution to lose weight or lessen the sweets, we have a candy that is great for anyone's diet, Ski. Yes, and you know, her name is so super sweet, but she's really proven to be quite the little vixen here on stage. She wants to be everywhere and be in everything and definitely was ready to jump off the table and tackle that cute little puppy that was on the ground. But Candy here was found by a good Samaritan when she was brought in. They noticed some hair loss around the eyes and nose. And they sent a sample out and they found that she had ringworm and foster hero Sonia took her home to treat her for a ringworm, which is a treatable disease or parasite rather. And it is contagious to other pets and people. So 
Sonia took her in, got her all cleaned up with baths and medication, fostered her till she got the green light to go in to get spayed, and now she is ready up for adoption. This little girl is quite unique in calico torty colors, but she also starts to turn black and white towards the tail and her back end. So we're not quite sure what candy mix she might be. So, you know, think of your favorite candy bar and have some fun naming her to another name if you need to. But candy is ready to go home and cause some trouble with you. That's right. And ringworm is actually not even a parasite at all. It's just a fungus, like athlete's foot. So it's not even that scary. So thank you so much for all that great information, Ski. And major wags and purrs for this awesome young leader who is not only a Girl Scout, but gives back to AHS in lots of ways through fostering and volunteering. Alyssa made it possible for more foster kittens to find their forever homes through her Gold Award Girl Scout project, where she hand-built this beautiful shelf full of supplies, helped us reorganize our foster pantry, and has fostered lots of little kitties throughout her time. There are lots of ways to help AHS, so visit azhumane.org to get inspired. And the holidays may be over, but there's always time for Holly. And she is definitely Holly, Jolly, and Merry Everything, Perry. <laughs> Christmas all year round with this little puppy right here. And she was a, a, a surrender in the field, which generally means just not the resources to really take care of her. But she was also lactating the four puppies at the time. So off she went to her maternity suites. Our maternity suites are a location up at our Sunny Slope location where a mother can either give birth to or finish off uh, weaning her puppies in a really nice, comfortable environment where she's watched and paid attention to. And so uh, she was there until we could find a foster home for her, and then she went off to foster hero Sandy's place where Sandy did the rest of the work in getting those puppies ready for adoption and, and making uh, Holly here really, really comfortable. You know, she's a very, very sweet doggy. I, you talk about that puppy last segment as to what breed. Um, Australian... Kelpie Boxer Basset Hound mix. I you don't know what this doggy is right here, but she is <laughs> super cute with those little ears right there. And you know, we make it very, very easy to spay new to your pets because uh, we just see so many pets out there, obviously, and it's our mission. Um, we have specials year round. Please keep looking at our website. Even our normal fee is very, very affordable. But just keep looking and please spay new to your pets so we don't have any more of these puppies going off having to go off to our maternity suite. This is the beautiful Holly. She almost looks like she's kind of part horse with the way her <laughs> body's distributed. <laughs> Thanks. And we had a few little kitties named after flowers last week. And I think Daisy could make that bouquet complete, Linda. She's quite the contrast to that little vixen candy that we just met. She's really, <laughs> really sweet and so gentle and so playful. She was actually found by a, um, a, as a stray with a bad cold. So she was brought to us by a um, good Samaritan. She was put in our ICU in isolation. She healed from her cold. And then a foster family took her in. So here she is today. It colds so easily. They're very contagious, especially in the environment of a shelter. One of the symptoms that you can notice with a cat is similar to what we have when we get our colds. We get runny noses, watery eyes, wheezing, coughing, congestion, lethargic, not feeling very good. So we are um, on that theme today with kitty cat colds. So if you notice any of those symptoms with your cats or kittens, please take them to the vet immediately because it is quite contagious amongst other cats and kittens. And we want a healthy, happy family. Happy New Year from Daisy. Oh, my goodness. So adorable. Thank you so much. And make sure to stay tuned right here to Pets on Parade. We're going to be saying dilly dilly after the break. <laughs>